the bottom. If you have that, I want you to put me in the comments. Is it flatter up here? So look down, check it out, look in the mirror. Do you even have like a line here, like a line of demarcation almost, where it's flatter up here, and then there's a, boop, a little bulge down at the bottom, okay? If you have it, okay, see, I see Soulful says me. Um, Katina Glover says me. I'm seeing some me's pop up, all right? So if you have, fl it's flatter up here, and there's a little boop down at the bottom, you probably are an upper ab gripper, okay? I see some more me's coming in, CCPA zero. I see Nessa saying me. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I struggle with that. <laughs> I struggle with that, the upper ab gripping. So where does that come from? Well, a lot of us who have had babies, when we had the, when the baby was inside of our stomach, we couldn't really grip very well down here because the baby was there. And so a lot of us to kind of feel more supported might have really over recruited our upper abs. So that's not uncommon. It was just a way of trying to like maintain balance and keep us from falling over when we were pregnant. Um, but after baby, we may still keep up that habit and we need to start working on that. The question is why? Also, are you somebody who kind of sucks in at the waistline? So you might just kind of hold in your, without even thinking about it, maybe you've done that since like middle school or high school, where you kind of hold in right here at the center. You might even have a little line there where you kind of have that and then you have a little bulge at the bottom, okay? So those things, what, why would that be problematic? So with that, if you are, and you can just pretend and try this with me, you know, suck your stomach in and then try to get a breath in. Where does your breath go? If you try to, if you hold your abs in or you grip your abs down, if you breathe in, where does your breath go? Your breath goes up into your neck and into your chest, okay? So there are different issues that can um, occur with that. So what happens is if you're always breathing into your chest, one, some of us have wider ribs um, postpartum, okay? So we have, if, if we have wider rib cage, then we're also getting our muscles are kind of being pulled apart a bit like this. And we might get some, um, we might just not get those muscle recruitment that really can't happen very well if everything's pulled out and tight. Another thing that happens when you're breathing up and in your neck, you, you can actually kind of um, trigger your, your stress response. So you can just kind of feel more stressed and not even be sure why, okay? Another thing is your lower belly, when you inhale up into your chest, when you exhale, you tend, not, you tend to press down into the lower part of your belly and down into your pelvic floor. So since we're just kind of recruiting up here, we're not really recruiting down here really well, which is in part why we have that lower belly bulge. Not only that, but if our lower belly is bulging, um, it's not uncommon that you also have pelvic floor issues. So I want to hear that in the comments. If you have a lower, let's say you're really tight up here, kind of gripping down on the abs here, and you have a bit of a bulge at the bottom, do you also have a, some pelvic floor issues, whether it's leaking, um, tightness, when you uh, leaking when you sneeze or cough or laugh or you just feel like extra tight if you feel any kind of pain with penetration or even just extreme looseness down there. If you're having any kind of pelvic floor issues and you have a lower belly bulge, that could be connected because when you are gripping down on your upper abs, when you're gripping down here at the waistline, what happens is you're kind of pushing out here at the bottom. So if your 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 core is kind of like a canister. If you press here, then that pressure is sent somewhere. That pressure comes down. The pressure comes down and it comes out. Okay, yes, I see me, me. So I'm seeing some of you who are saying, yes, when I have a lower belly pooch, I grip up here, I've got that ab gripping going on, and I have pelvic floor issues as well. So that's something that can happen. We also see that with um, moms who have some prolapse because they're gripping here and all the pressure is coming down and out here, okay? So you could be experiencing pre um, prolapse or pelvic floor issues in general and that lower belly bulge, okay? So what can we do instead? Um, a few things that I want you to work on, um, definitely exercises to strengthen that lower belly, okay? Exercises to start reminding yourself to recruit the lower abs. Um, and those are all of my exercises on my TikTok, focus there. The full length exercises that you can get in the link of my bios, focus there. Um, another thing that is super important, 
that people don't even think about. And this is why this is like a whole, in my paid course, this is like a whole week. We spend a whole week on this one thing. And that is learning how to breathe properly. I know that sounds so weird, like duh, we all breathe. But if you are constantly gripping your abs or cinching your waist in the middle, like kind of holding your abs in like that, what happens is, like I said earlier, you are breathing in, but the breath isn't going down the way it should. It's going up this way, up into our neck, up into our chest, okay? So one of the first things that we can do that can really make a huge difference, I mean, people who have learned how to do this properly can literally start seeing um, their pelvic floor issues like resolve literally start seeing their lower belly bulge resolving without doing any exercises whatsoever. And what is that thing? It's breathing properly, okay? And what you'll want to do is check in with yourself throughout the day, and you want to start focusing on trying to get a deep inhale, where you are inhaling down and you're feeling an expansion of your lower ribs, of your belly, of your back. You want, the, you want to feel like your breath is coming down and out. You want to fill it down to your pelvic floor, okay? And so when you breathe in, you're feeling it come down. If you are gripping your abs or holding your stomach in, you're going to feel it go up and out. Try that with me right now. Grip your abs. Grip your upper abs. Hold, suck in your stomach. You see, it comes up and out. But if you relax, sit up nice and tall, you know, uncave your, your ribs from gripping there, then I want you to try to imagine breathing down. Now, this can take practice. This is why in my paid course, I literally spend at least a week with my ladies learning how to breathe properly. Because like I said, that can help tighten things up without doing any exercises whatsoever. I know you, you probably don't believe me. It seems unrealistic. But I promise you, if you are relaxing this upper ab area and you're breathing down instead of breathing up and bulging here, then if you don't have that constant pressure of bulging, sometimes as you come up, you're breathing down, you're starting to engage those lower muscles. And as you lengthen up, that helps you also engage those lower muscles. And, and you're not fighting against that, um, you're not using the pressure and fighting against and causing that bulge to happen, okay? And so sometimes things resolve themselves